Well, 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 look what we've got here. A bloke who's finally found himself under the missus' thumb, eh? Maybe it's time you grew up here and stop being a bloody doormat. Egos, mate. Eh, yeah, tricky business. Fragile as a bloody wine glass. So, if your bird's ego is running amok and turning your relationship into a proper shit show, listen up. Today's video is for you poor whip bastards who need to take the reins back. We're dishing out eight bloody golden rules to help you handle her ego like a champ. Buckle up, lads, and let's get this sorted. Rule 1. Don't act desperate for a shag, mate. Alright, lads, listen up. If you're drooling like a dog in heat every time you see your bird, you're just stroking her ego like a bloody kitten. She can smell that desperation a mile away, and it ain't sexy. So don't go jumping on her like a randy teenager at the first hint of a chance. Sure, she might test you, but if you pounce, she'll back off faster than a bloody cheetah. Give her the space she's asking for and show her you're a man who doesn't need to beg for a shag. Play it cool, like a bloody James Bond or something. You want her thinking that you've got so many options, she's just another one in the queue. Don't give her the satisfaction of knowing she's got you wrapped around her little finger. Now, don't go letting her call the shots all the time either. If she thinks she can hit you up whenever she pleases, that'll just inflate her ego even more. Show her you've got a life, you're busy, and your time is bloody valuable. Be a bit scarce, mate. It's human nature to want what we can't have, so if you're always there, you're just asking for trouble. Start by slowly pulling away a bit, take your time responding to her messages, and don't always be the one to initiate conversation. Once she realizes you're not at her beck and call, she'll come crawling back to you faster than you can say good day. At that point, you can't let her back in. But remember, keep playing it cool and never let her think she's got you whipped. Rule 2. Keep it cool and don't feed the bloody ego. Listen up, lads. One of the best bloody weapons in your arsenal is a calm, collected, and indifferent attitude. Why? Because women crave attention and approval like a vampire craves blood. And when they don't get it, well, it's like watching a hamster on crack trying to run on its wheel. You'll see them go from accusing you of being gay to throwing insults at you just to get a reaction. If you hear the word loser, congrats, mate. You've just pricked her ego. In this twisted world, attention-seeking behavior fuels a massive trophy industry for women. They're getting rewarded for every little thing from doing their jobs to winning bloody beauty pageants. Meanwhile, men are told to lower their standards and forget about the trophy wife. But you know what? Women are working their asses off to become trophies themselves, all the while rewarding themselves with phony trophies for nothing more than existing. Yeah, their egos are bloody fragile. So, what happens when women have to do more than just look pretty to get your attention? Their attitude changes, mate. And that's when you see the real person behind the ego. Keep your distance, play it cool, and don't feed the ego beast. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your relationships. Rule 3. Give them the old butcher's brush off. You ever heard of an egg? It's a cheeky little backhanded compliment that catches women off guard. Something like, nice blouse, love. My mom's got one just like it. As petty as it sounds, it's a bloody effective tactic. Why? because it's a breath of fresh air compared to the usual ass kissing from desperate blokes that feeds their egos. One reason women can be so cocky these days is that the whole dating game's gone off the rails. They've got an army of thirsty lads begging for attention, while most blokes are left to fight for scraps. The last thing she wants is another pushover fawning over her like a lost puppy. That's where the neg comes in, showing her you're not just another desperate sod, but a man worth her time. If you've already got a lady in your life, you'll need to keep her ego in check to keep her around. The tips I'm about to give you might sound completely bonkers, but trust me, they work. Here's a list of power moves to make sure you don't end up another notch on her bedpost. Ignore what women say they want. Don't jump at their every command. Don't take their words at face value. Keep it cool, brush off her digs, and have a witty comeback or two up your sleeve. By not caving into her every whim, you're showing you're a man of value. A bloke with options doesn't leap at a woman's beck and call. Staying cool and distant proves that you're the real prize, and she's the one who should be chasing after you. Rule 4. Outshine her in public just a bit. 
You've got to try this trick, mate. It's bloody brilliant, and it'll knock her ego down a peg or two by shifting some attention off her and onto you. Take a pretty bird out on a date, and she's used to everyone gawking at her. But then you stroll in, looking sharp as a razor in your perfectly tailored gear, and suddenly, you're the main attraction. Now, seeing a well-dressed bloke out and about is a rare sight, isn't it? Most lads can't be asked to dress up proper for a night on the town. So when a woman's all dolled up and used to stealing the spotlight, her ego takes a hit when you're the one turning heads. She'll be thinking, Oi, where's my bloody attention? And just like that, her ego's taking a nice little tumble. Now she's with a fella that other women are eyeing up, and she knows she ain't the only fish in the sea. She'll be thinking, Any other bird would kill for my spot. And that, my friend, will give her ego a right good kick in the teeth. Rule 5. Have a little wandering eye, mate. When you're out with your bird, don't just stare at her like she's the bloody Mona Lisa. Give a cheeky glance at other ladies now and then. If you're only focused on her, you'll inflate her ego. But if you confidently take a gander at other girls in front of her, that ego gets a nice reality check. Now, I ain't saying you should flirt with every Sheila in sight, but a few subtle moves can make your girl a bit green with envy. Shoot a text to a lady friend, or take a quick call. You might catch your girl giving you the stink eye, but that's all part of the plan. Rule 6. Keep your cool when the other blokes are around. Sure, she's a stunner, and might try to get a rise out of you by talking to other blokes, but don't let it ruffle your feathers. Showing your insecurity only feeds her ego and makes her think she can do better. Stay calm and collected, and she'll see that you ain't bothered by any bloke, cause you know you're the real catch. Remember, ladies hold the key to sex, while us gents are the gatekeepers of commitment. Ignoring what women want proves you ain't handing out your dedication like it's free candy. In the same way a bloke sees a girl who's too easy as a bit of a tart, a woman sees a fella who's quick to commit as a desperate beta. Don't be that guy. Rule 7. Lay it all out and take a bow, mate. Give her enough ammo to believe whatever she bloody well wants to. If she reckons she's too good for you, just tell her straight up. You're right, my love. You could do way better. Then, ghost her like a bloody phantom. No calls, texts, or meetups. If she starts to feel vulnerable and scared of losing you, she'll shove her ego aside and come running. But once she's back, make sure you both park your ego somewhere nice and cozy. Learn the difference between being an arrogant prat and having a bit of self-respect. If she doesn't come back, remember, sometimes it's good bloody riddance. Don't stick around where you ain't appreciated. Rule 8. Let her nibble on a bit of insecurity, why don't you? Don't let that bird take you for granted, mate. She's acting all high and mighty because she knows you're all in. It's about time you showed her just how bloody brilliant you really are. Spend a bit less time catering to her every whim and have a cheeky flirt with some other ladies now and then. Remind her that you're the governor of your own life and nothing, not even her royal highness, can bring you down. Maybe even have a lad's night out and let her see you're having a good time without her. That'll get the gears grinding, no doubt. And when she's feeling a tad jealous or unsure of her place in your world, she'll be ready to step down from her throne and start treating you like the equal partner you are. But remember, it's all about balance, mate. Don't go too far and lose the girl for good. Keep her on her toes, but make sure she knows you're still her bloke when it counts. If you got a kick out of this bit of advice, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Cheers for watching, you wankers.